So I just got done going down to uh, Sonoma County. Went down to pretrial probation to check in because I could have swore I said something about uh, I, would, I had to be on that uh, until my next court date. Um, went down there and said, oh, we ain't got anything for you here. I was like, okay. Uh, went over to, they said, maybe it's a uh, court order probation. So, oh. so I go over there and like, ain't got anything for you here that says you've been on probation. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I, I was on pretrial probation like a year ago, but that was revoked because I you know, got convicted and did my sentence. Um, and they're like, no, it says you've been on 2016. You've been on, you got sent, you got sentenced to 36 months of probation. It's fucking news to me. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't know, a bunch of weird shit going on. Um, but uh, tell you what though, Sunday night, man, that's uh, it's another good story. Sunday night, Monday morning, I guess, technically. I uh, was uh, getting off work, stopped in uh, at Old Main, was gonna, you know, I had enough money to get one drink and call it a night. Um, fucking got out of my car, was walking over to the bar, and uh, realized I left uh, my debit card and all that at home. I was like, fuck. So I was like, well, you know, I'll just maybe make a walk through, see who's there, and then call it a night. So I go in, uh, and one of my homies, not the one I was playing pool with, um, he's actually an Italian too, uh, was standing in the back, looking at his phone, kind of doing a little bit of swaying, and uh, I walk up to him, fucking has a big grin on his face, like, what's up, man? And uh, fucking apparently he didn't sleep uh, the night before, had been up since uh, the day before, everyone up all that. Um, was going through some shit. I guess his business partner uh, cut him out and jacked him uh, 15 racks um, of their business that they got going. Uh, you know, after talking to him, I was like, well, you know, what kind of business is this? Uh, I figured it'd be some type of uh, other operation. He's talking about it was growing weed. Um, I was like, oh, you know, it's basically talking to him about a situation that uh, I don't have per se, but that I'm trying to... Uh, help make out a little bit more money for uh, the fam, um, especially with the laws that are regarding uh, this rollout and the regulations uh, behind marijuana. I'll touch on that in a second, get with my story first, but um, so I talked about it, the shit that he was going through, and he's like, you know, he's pissed, you know, obviously, I fucking get jacked 15 racks, I'd be pissed too, um, and then um, basically that whole night, I, uh, you know, we were there talking with some other people, and I ended up um, talk, getting to, well, more officially getting to know this guy that apparently um, the reason we got on the subject is he was uh, in the same class of uh, El Molino as my cousin and had apparently been at uh, uh, our little spot when we had our uh, annual football game uh, with our family and just local friends, man, a whole bunch of people. It was a good ass time. Um, we, we had that for a couple years in a row. Um, and he was talking about, yeah, you know, he was uh, there for that and, you know, knew my cousin and, um, so uh, went uh, left there with uh, him and his girlfriend and my homie that was uh, not in a very good and I having a very good night and then uh, basically walked into a bar with uh, no money and didn't spend one dime and I had a whole bunch of shots uh, got a beer fucking went over at you know not like an after party just like a little kind of small gathering and kick and sesh where uh, did a little uh, smoked a little weed um, you know got triple faded, I guess you should say. Um, had, uh, you know, talked about more about this possible business venture uh, with them with them as well. Um, and for, you know, if the fam's watching, I didn't go into any details talking, you know, about the shit that's going on or any of that. Um, but basically, uh, you know, these laws that are coming out regarding, uh, you know, the legal legalization of the growing of marijuana, it's like, well, supposedly... You know, it's only like you can have six plants if you're going to grow, you know, for yourself and that's it. Um, and so, and apparently too, is you, there's a grower's permit, uh, a transportation permit, a tending permit, like all these separate permits that you have to get. And then you can't have like uh, all of those operations, like all the four permits that you have to have um, at the same location. So you have to have like one place for growing and then transportation and then tending at a different place. So, I mean, it's like they're totally trying to take the power out of, you know, the private person being able to get their own operation going. 
Um, I know, so something I'm trying to work out now, maybe gather into a petition of, you know, I don't have any people's names, but I've got, you know, people that I'm talking to uh, that I could, you know, put down an official document of, um, you know, like, okay, we've got, say, we're growing 120 plants. You know, basically term it a babysitting service, if you will. Um, anyway, person just totally got in front of me, but whatever. Um, and so basically, uh, you know, like I said, a babysitting service to where if we had 120 plants on our little operation, um, uh, and you know, through the county of where the fuck's regulating this shit, uh, you know, on paper, it'd be like, okay, these six plants are for so-and-so, these six plants are for so-and-so, you know, in a list of 20 people, you know, so we got 120 plants. Um, and, and figuring out, that's something, you know, I'm even talking with someone that works at a company here that's a dispensary um, that, the form, that the former mayor, or I don't know, still, I, don't, I still got to get up to that. The former mayor, maybe mayor, I think he's a former mayor, uh, owned, um, but basically... Uh, even, even that, even, you know, people that work for them are trying to figure out these fucking regulations and shit. But, um, so that's, you know, yet again, um, just a complete astronomical, uh, over-regulation of a bunch of things. Um, but, you know, laws out of laws out of laws. I'm trying to, uh, understand, figure out, um, you know, like I said, did my part. I showed up to be on some type of probation today that... I've apparently been on since 2016, according to these motherfuckers, um, that I, the only thing I've ever been on was pretrial probation that I guess is, that I thought I was taken off of, but I don't know, eh, it's, shit's just confusing. Um, but basically, uh, like I said, uh, went in to uh, see if anything was going on with that today, so I'm just gonna put that out there in case, you know, I, fucking something comes up in a week, like, you were supposed to check in, I was like, I did, you guys said I was okay, but anyway. Um, and, you know, like I said, uh, making some moves. Uh, you know, it's a place that I'm working at right now. I'm talking about getting a karaoke night possibly up and running. I, I DJ that. You know, the, uh, I was looking at their, uh, uh, I should say, hardware involved with their TVs and sound and, you know, some of the equipment that I got uh, to do the little micro studio that I had. Um, basically, hook up the mic. I have to get another mic. I have two inputs. Um, so you can even have, you know, two people up there at once. Um, have that routed into the speaker system coming from my laptop, and really, I could just pull up YouTube videos of fucking karaoke songs and do it that way, but I actually, you know, get a program and have pre-downloaded karaoke songs and shit like that, you know, so I can compensate some of you fucking assholes for your bullshit. Um, but yeah, you know, making moves, hustling.